Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we want to take a look at other forms on MailChimp. We've created a signer form. Here is our signer form. The other forms are also already there. Okay, these are these are the forms that we have. We have the sign up form. We have sign up form with alerts, sign up thank you page. Then we have the opt-in confirmation email. Let's take a look at this one. So the opt-in confirmation email is the email that is sent to the subscriber so that they can confirm their subscription to you. So let's take a look at the form. This one you can change here. So list name. List name is the name of your of the list. So our list name is Bizanosa. Reply to. That's the email. And then again, from name is from name. The name that you input when you're creating the list. You can go back to the videos and watch this. All of these were there. You can see how you can change them on the list. You can see it takes the original design, the design which was there. What changes is just the form itself. This will be sent to your subscribers so that they can confirm their subscriptions. You can see it inherits the colors that we had. So yes, subscribe me. They'll click here. And when they click this, they'll be subscribed to your list. So you can change this one. You can write whatever you want here. You can also edit this one. This one you can also edit the color by going to the design just like we did in the previous one. Design it, then you can change the color here. Then you can change the message which is written in here. So these are what you call merge tags. So they basically put them there to extract the information from the details you have on your account. So you can change this as you as you see fit you can add anything you can edit here you can tell people why they need to confirm so that's the opt-in confirmation once they've confirmed you can send them a confirmation thank you so subscription confirmed so they'll receive this then they can Go manage their preferences or continue to your website. Your website link was input on the list. So if you remember on your list, you did add your website link. Or you can also send them to a link. Let's say you want them to download something. So instead of showing this thank you page, subscribers will download this. Let's say for instance, your you have a YouTube channel and uh, you direct people to the link for your sign up form. They sign up, they confirm. Then in the end, you want them to download something. You can put the link for the download here so that once they've signed up, instead of sending them to this page with this form, it will just redirect them to the link for your download. The unsubscribe form. So if you want to do it manually, here's the link. You can just add this link manually in your template or any on your website. You can have people just click on it and it will take them to the unsubscribe. So we've taken a look at all of this, how these ones work. You can change the design as you see fit. If someone goes to this link, this is a form that will appear and they'll input the email address, click on unsubscribe and once they unsubscribe, it will take them to the unsubscribe success page. So any of these forms that you want to edit, all of them are there. You just go there and you figure out which one it is, then you can come and edit them. Then we also have the goodbye. So you can send this if you want them to know that they unsubscribed successfully. And as you can see, this is good because now that you, you've written something positive here, 
and there is a subscribe form here they might change their mind and subscribe again you've also seen options whereby when you receive emails there are links where you can change your you can update your profile so that's all here so if you want to change that just go to any of these forms find the one that you want to change so you also have surveys if you want to do a survey take a look at all of this and see the options that are there see how you can edit anything that will be relevant to you that does it for this video in the next video i want us to look at how to translate how to translate our forms thanks guys subscribe and like the videos till next time